ない。Well, good morning, everyone, from Hurricane Creek Farms. We're glad to have y'all here. Um, yeah, a beautiful Saturday morning. Uh, getting a little bit of a late start. It is 9 a.m. on the dot. Willis and I went uh, deer hunting for just a little while this morning. Um, obviously, we didn't hunt too long. It's still only 9 o'clock, but got out, saw a few deer. Um, nothing, you know, that, that we wanted to... Uh, Take a shot on just yet. I was hoping to take Kimber this morning. Um, we were gonna go, and at the last minute she decided to go spend the night with one of her friends. So yeah, dad and deer hunting come second um, to socializing for nine-year-olds. So that's predictable. But anyway, you get some animals fed, uh, get some chores done because we can have a football game of interest kicking off in two hours. Um, shouldn't be much of a game. Uh, balls are playing UConn, but we're still gonna watch it. So we gotta get going. Well, in true classic form, as I'm driving down the road, after I've been deer hunting all morning, or I say all morning, we went on a short hunt, but past, past the field, buck deer standing right there. Now, he wasn't on our property, so I couldn't have shot him anyway. Um, and he, he, he probably wasn't a shooter anyway, but like, there you go. Go hunting, quit hunting, get in the truck, start doing chores, and then the deer show up. But, it is what it is. Still need to see him. Um, it's only November the 4th. Probably still a little early for our rut, but he's probably a two year old deer, two and a half year old. Um, he was on the prowl, you know, here well after daylight, so maybe be starting to get some does uh, going into heat and uh, deer hunting may be starting to really heat up for us. Fingers crossed. Yeah, this crew is ready to get some feed this morning. And they are really going through the hay, um, which we're bringing them, some, you know, some really good hay. It's coming straight out of the field. It was just rolled like a month ago. Uh, and it's barely been rained down, but I brought those two rolls down here yesterday on my lunch break. So they've been out here like 20 hours, roughly. <laughs> and they, yeah, by, by this time tomorrow, they will be absolutely gone. Maybe by this evening, evening. So. Goodness, need to sell these heifers. Um, we, we, we've got plenty of hay. I shouldn't shouldn't act like, you know, that. Um, but if we are looking to move on from 23 of these nice bred black ladies like her and her and her and those two over there. And, you, know, you get the point. Um, but, you know, we'll throw them some feed. Um, I plan on bringing them two more rolls of hay again tomorrow. They've actually got, you know, obviously we've had, we had three or four mornings in a row this week of, you know, hard frost. And it got down in the mid twenties a couple of nights. Um, so as Bermuda's done, other warm season grasses. There's still some fescue back in the next pasture, which they have access to. I think they just, we started bringing them hay and they were like, heck, they're bringing it to us. So we may let them go without. Um, probably be tomorrow evening before I get back down here because um, I'm planning a trip to my father-in-law's again just like I did last Sunday hope to maybe get the last of, of his cows caught and um, you know, take them to the sale barn and brought back here but we'll see so yeah just get an early start doing that tomorrow so it'll be tomorrow evening before I check my hand. but anyway rambling about that hey another thing I noticed the other day a buddy of mine who's doing YouTube, we were looking at some analytics, whatnot. Only about one in 10 of you guys that are watching these videos is giving it a thumbs up. We need to pump those numbers up. So everybody, take that split second, give it a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Um, yeah, let's get these, get these yearlings fed.
ない Darn near get trampled trying to find a few range cubes. I'm so weird. And then like right here where I started putting them out, nobody's even eating them. Ah. Made me a little angry. There's a reason why we eat them and not vice versa. But let's see, they cleaned up one roll of hay right there and that feeder still got a roll over there. They're kind of picking it. Still got a partial roll over here. So these pastures are a lot more fescue based. And so they probably still got just a little better grazing. I mean, you'll see, we still got some green out here. So they're not attacking the hay quite like those yearlings are. But anyway, right over here, we, um, the creep feeder was uh, one side of it was needed some adjustment the other day. I didn't have any pliers um, to loosen up wing nuts. We'll go work on that. Um, Got a few of these. These four coming here are some of my father-in-law's cows. Um, obviously no tags, but you get a look at the rest of them. On all this creek feeder, so we got these wing nuts you can loosen to slide that little door up to either let more or less feed out at a time. Um, of course, the calves really aren't, aren't just cleaning it completely up. But actually, I don't know, they're, they're mostly feeding on the other side. I guess because I didn't have this side open for a while. And they just, creatures of habit are still feeding over there. But anyway, we're in pretty good shape. It's it's getting pretty low, but there, as you can see, there's still plenty of feed in here. Um, just like to do this right before weaning. They're loud. So that, uh, you know, they're already on it, a little feed. You know, used to eating that. And that way when we pull them off mama, they're not just completely going to eating that, that, that grain diet. Um, you know, you know they never have been. So anyway, um, get that taken care of. We've got about an hour till kickoff. We'll get a couple of other chores done. And uh, then watch some ball game before we uh, start doing some more this afternoon. game turned out to be not much of a ball game so while it's not even over yet we're gonna go ahead and start working on moving some dirt because our cover barn whatever we want to call it over our working facilities um, is complete we need to move a oh, not an extreme amount of dirt but um, obviously slopes down more than we would like we don't necessarily need it to be perfectly level um, but would like to move some dirt. Um, I think we're gonna be able to do a bunch of it with just a tractor. Uh, Dad said something about maybe bringing a dozer down here and helping me. We're gonna see where we can get to with this. And uh, yeah, then start thinking about getting that uh, working pin and all set back up under here. But we'll go get the tractor. Um, got the box blade on the back, but got to uh, put the bucket on the front. We'll be ready to roll. good bit of dirt with this thing in a short amount of time so the trick where I'm probably going to struggle is just getting it super level it's not my area of expertise I may call in reinforcements in the form of my dad to do that final touch up work um, 
he seems to do really well at that. But if we got those shanks now where it's able to dig, um, I don't know. Make it probably just about go ahead and raise those up. We got a bunch of loose dirt. We can start smoothing her up or trying to. But um, I talked to a concrete guy like a month ago, just because I know like everything that those guys are way behind. Um, he told me to call him a little closer. He'd have me on his list. They still act like it may be you know a few weeks before they can get to us. So about halfway decided. We're probably gonna get it good and level like we want it. Set the pins up so we can go ahead and be using it. So we need to check my father-in-law's cows for pregnancy. Uh, you know, get tags in their ears, all that sort of thing. Uh, we need to wean calves. Uh, you know, we, you know, we can't even. Uh, you know, need to haul off some of our cows that we know are culls once we get calves weaned. Uh, Imagine we'll probably be in that same situation with my father-in-law's cows, any of them that aren't bred. But we can't do any of that until we get the pins set back up. So probably gonna set the pins up. Just have to take them back down again whenever they get ready to come for the concrete. I like that to an extent um, because I'm gonna be able to determine exactly how I want it, exactly where we want the concrete. It just is gonna create another step for us. But oh well, it's uh, nothing but a little, little elbow grease little manpower can't take care of but anyway we'll keep on scraping some dirt We've just been pulling from all around, all out here. Um, I fully expected to hit the water line. The hydrant runs right about through here. I guess we just haven't graded down enough. Um, we do have a cutoff right up there on the other side of that fence. Uh, we'll probably put in another water hydrant somewhere here. Still got a few more things got to get done um, on this project. I'm gonna get some lights in this barn because. I guess actually tomorrow, yeah, time changes. So by the time this video comes out, we will have uh, lost an hour in our evenings, I guess gained an hour in the mornings, which I always say it doesn't matter to me either way. Um, right now I do a whole lot of stuff in the dark in the mornings, um, get home with a little bit of daylight, um, getting less every day. With, uh, of course, time change, I'll have just a little more light in the mornings and none in the evenings, but either way, whatever. Um, we'll need lights in the barn though, especially feeding these steers out this winter is where they'll get used pretty much every day. But then also if we ever have a cow that's, you know, having trouble calving the pull one, you know, those things rarely happen during the day or when the weather's nice. So we can do it under cover of the barn and with lights. But we're gonna keep keep scraping, blading, pulling some more dirt into here. Uh stopping time. I don't know if Kimber gets home from uh, her friend's house, may try to uh, get her on a deer this afternoon, but yeah, we got about another two and a half, three hours of daylight, so if we're going to do that, she needs to get on home. But we're going to throw some, actually throw some antelope on the grill tonight, but uh, y'all you know we'll be eating beef plenty this week. Um, probably some tacos, have a taco Tuesday kind of thing something like that we'll be back recording again middle of the week probably going to my father-in-law's to get some cows tomorrow probably won't film that it's just i don't know i, I, I kind of have mixed emotions still um with that and uh you know it, it's also kind of chaos um to an extent which hey that makes for good content but whatever but we're gonna get inside here um either go do some deer hunting or watch some football um yeah i want y'all to do like we always say, after you give the video a thumbs up, be sure you subscribe. I'll quit rambling. Y'all eat beef and God bless.